Bree. Cersei. Walder Frey. Meryn Trant. Tywin Lannister. The Red Woman. Beric Dondarrion. Thoros of Myr. Ilin Payne. The Mountain. Would you shut up? I can't sleep until I say the names. The names of every fucking person in Westeros. Only the ones I'm going to kill. <laughs> Hate's as good a thing as any to keep a person going. Better than most. We come across my brother. Maybe we can both cross a name off our list. If you were here right now, what would you do? Tell him to shut the fuck up so I can get some sleep. Go on, get it over with. The list of doomed men. I'm almost done. Only one name left. Go on. The Hound. Where's the bastard crow? Got more than a few bastards here. Who's asking? They're Amory Lord, sworn banishment to Lord Tywin Lannister. These men from the capital requested our assistance. Drop your weapons in the name of the king. And which king will that be? This is your last chance. In the name of King Joffrey, drop your weapons. I don't think I will. So be it. Ugh. I always hated crossbows. Take too long to load! Here. No! That's a fine little blade. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. I yield, I yield. Round up any survivors. We'll take them back to Harren Hall. You heard it. You're coming with us. I yield! Help! Help me! Something wrong with your leg, boy. Look at it. Can you walk? No. You've got to carry me. All right. Carry him, he says. <laughs> We're looking for a bastard named Gendry. 
Give him up. Or I'll start taking eyeballs. You want Gendry? <laughs> you already got him. He loved that helmet. I know him. The small one. His name is Pulliver. He captured us and took us to Harrenhal. Killed Lommy. What the fuck's a Lommy? He was my friend. Oliver stole my sword and put it right through his neck. He still got it. What one? My sword. Needle. Needle. Of course, you named your sword. Lots of people name their swords. Lots of cunts. Oh, you get back. My brother gave me that sword. Get back here. He killed my friend. I don't care if he hates your friend. We're not going in there. Something wrong with your leg, boy. What, what? What do you mean? Can you walk? I've got to carry you. Carry me? Fine little blade. Maybe I'll pick my teeth with it. <laughs> Uncle! Where are you going? In my cup there, remember? I thought I might change out of these wet clothes, Your Grace. No, 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 no. No, you're perfect the way you are. Serve me my wine. Well, hurry up, this pie is dry. Mm, good. Knees washing down. <laughs> if it please your grace, Lady Sansa is no. very tired. <coughs> no, you'll wait here. 
I'm... Your grace. It's nothing. He's choking! I'm the poor boy! Idiots, help your king! Wait! Joffrey! Joffrey! Come with me now. Joffrey! If you want to leave, you have to leave. Don't touch him! Joffrey! A man has a thirst. A man does not drink for a day in the night. A boy could make a friend. I have friends. Take this beer before I skin you. A man does not choose his companions. These two, they have no courtesy. A man must ask forgiveness. You're called Ari. This man has the honor to be Jack and Raka. Of the free city of Flora. Beer, you little shits. Get us beer! You should have asked nicely. Come closer, and I'll shove that stick up your bungalow and fuck you bloody! A boy has more courage than sense. Come here! Yoren said none of us were to go near those three. Come here! They don't scare me. Hmm? Then you're stupid. You scare me. Price on your head. Yes, that's what the king does when you tell him to fuck off. The king's dead. He drank poison wine at his own wedding. The bounty on you is for killing Lannister soldiers. A hundred silver stakes. And you thought you were going to collect it. Didn't think very hard, did you? You were Yoren's prisoners when he was taking me to the wall. He told me he'd fuck me bloody with a stick. This day's really not working out the way you planned. He on your little list. He can't be. I don't know his name. What's your name? Rouge. Thank you. You're learning. Run to your father. Bloody oafs. Be gone now, Arya. Come with me. Run. The first sword of Bravos does not run. What 
do we say to the god of death? Not today. Go. I can see I have my work cut out for me. You two, out. the first person on my list, you know. For killing Sirio Pharrell, remember him? <laughs> Probably not. I've gotten a few of the others. The many-faced god stole a few more from me. But I'm glad he left me you. Do you know who I am? can't hear you. You know who I am. I'm Arya Stark. Do you know who you are? You're no one. King in the north arises. Let him go, and I swear we will forget this. 
I swear it by the all gods and you. We will take no vengeance. You already swore me one oath right here in my castle. You swore by all the gods your son would marry my daughter. Take me for a hostage. But let Rob go. Rob, get up. Get up and walk out. Please. Please. And why would I let him do that? my honor as a Tully, on my honor as a Stark. Let him go, or I will cut your wife's throat. I'll find another. Mother. She was a whore. Say that word again. And what? You'll kill your own father in the privy? No. You're my son. Now, enough of this nonsense. I am your son, and you sentenced me to die. You knew I didn't poison Joffrey, but you sentenced me all the same. Why? Enough. We'll go back to my chambers and speak with some dignity. I can't go back there. She's in there. Are you afraid of a dead whore? Where are my damn moron sons? Black Walder and Lothar promise to be here by midday. They're here, my lord. Well, what are they doing? Trimming their cunt hairs? Tell them to come here, now. But they're already here, my lord. Here, my lord. They weren't easy to carve, especially Black Waldo. My name is Arya Stark. I want you to know that. The last thing you're ever going to see is a Stark smiling down at you as you die. <coughs> I've gathered every fray who means the damn thing so I can tell you my plans for this great house now that winter has come. But first, 
a toast. No more of that Gornish horse piss. This is the finest arbor gold. Proper wine for proper heroes. Stand together. Not you. I'm not wasting good wine on a damn woman. Maybe I'm not the most pleasant man. I'll admit it, but I'm proud of you lot. You're my family. The men who helped me slaughter the Starks at the Red Wedding. Yes. Yes. Cheer. Brave men. All of you, butcher the woman pregnant with her babe. Cut the throat of a mother of five. Slaughtered your guests after inviting them into your home. But you didn't slaughter every one of the Starks. No, no, that was your mistake. You should have ripped them all out, root and stem. <laughs> Leave one wolf alive, and the sheep are never safe. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. Tell them winter came for House Frey. Let him through. Lord Stark, King Joffrey and the Queen Regent request your presence in the throne room. King Joffrey? King Robert is gone. The gods give him rest. All is accomplished. The city watch is yours. Good. Is Lord Renly joining us? I fear Lord Renly has left the city. Tell your men to lay down their swords. No one needs to die. No! I did warn you not to trust me. You want her, this empty-headed child. Let her go. She's just like her mother. She'll never love you. I lied for you. I killed for you. Why did you bring her here? Why? I send her away. I swear on my life. I swear to all the gods. Let her go, Lysa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my sweet wife, my sweet, silly wife. <laughs> I have only loved one woman. Only one my entire life.
for sister. Are you sure you want to do this? It's not what I want. It's what honor demands. And what does honor demand? That I defend my family from those who would harm us. That I defend the North from those who would betray us. All right, then. Get on with it. You stand accused of murder. You stand accused of treason. How do you answer these charges? Lord Baelish. My sister asked you a question. Lady Sansa, forgive me. I'm a bit confused. Which charges confuse you? Let's start with the simplest one. You murdered our aunt, Lysa Arryn. You pushed her through the moon door and watched her fall. Do you deny it? I did it to protect you. You did it to take power in the Vale. Earlier, you conspired to murder John Arryn. You gave Lysa tears of lease to poison him. Do you deny it? Whatever your aunt might have told you, she was a troubled woman. She imagined enemies everywhere. You had Aunt Lysa send a letter to our parents telling them it was the Lannisters who murdered John Arryn, when really it was you. The conflict between the Starks and the Lannisters, it was you who started it. Do you deny it? I know of no such letter. You conspired with Cersei Lannister and Joffrey Baratheon to betray our father, Ned Stark. Thanks to your treachery, he was imprisoned and later executed on false charges of treason. Do you deny it? I deny it. None of you were there to see what happened. None of you knows the truth. You held a knife to his throat. You said, I did warn you not to trust me. You told our mother this knife belonged to Tyrion Lannister. But that was another one of your lies. It was yours. Thank you, Sansa. I have known you since you were a girl. I've protected you. Protected me? By selling me to the Boltons? If we could speak alone, I can explain everything. Sometimes when I'm trying to understand a person's motives, I play a little game. I assume the worst. What's the worst reason you have for turning me against my sister? That's what you do, isn't it? That's what you've always done. Turn family against family, turn sister against sister. That's what you did to our mother and Aunt Lysa, and that's what you tried to do to us. Sansa, please. I'm a slow learner. It's true. But I learn. Give me a chance to defend myself. I deserve that. I am Lord Protector of the Vale, and I command you to escort me safely back to the Eyrie. I think not. Sansa, I beg you. I loved your mother since the time I was a boy. And yet you betrayed her. I loved you. More than anyone. And yet you betrayed me. When you brought me back to Winterfell, you told me there's no justice in the world, not unless we make it. Thank you for all your many lessons, Lord Baelish. I will never forget them. That's because you're a girl. What does that have to do with anything?
Forgive me, lad. What are you doing? Let go of him! Tell him to stop! He wants to be one of you! He wants to join the Brotherhood! Stop them! We serve the Lord of Light. And the Lord of Light needs this boy. Did the Lord of Light tell you that, or did she? You're not doing this for your God. You're doing it for gold. We're doing it for both, Skull. Butcher's boy. You rode him down. He ran. Not very fast. That's him. The one who picks. You. Hey! 
Look away, don't look. Look at me. Just look at me. Nothing else matters. <laughs> Nothing else matters. Only us.